Welcome everyone to the very last project channel. Yes, so we are working. <laughs> Here we go. So we need 38 shield plates. Okay. Because the last two are going to have to be different measurements. Because so it's never going to be 100% accurate, you know. In terms of being all exactly the same. So the last two will have to leave for the end. Yes, it's got to be 140. And booyah. Okay. 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 Switch off there. 140. Okay, let's go. Okay, doke everyone. So today we are doing our shield for the fence. Okay. So I was just choosing the angle. We've been cutting these strips from the metal sheets. Okay. There and now we're bending it over here. So. We already got all these cuts right here, just as you guys saw previously. And now we are bending them right here on this machine, the bending machine. So, let's see if I can get this on camera. <laughs> Go that side. Got to take a measurement here. I'm going to try to do everything with uh, the camera on my hand. Let's see. It will be a mission. <laughs> Okay, so here we got 125. There you go. Because I already have my cement shoes on. So I'm going to do cement, but I'm doing like multitasking. So 125. Now we lock it up. It's locked and ready to go. Let's bend. And there you go. That's it. And it's done. Now we'll take another measurement. 110. Now it's 110. Okie dokie. It's got to go a little bit inside. Yes. Lock and load. Ready to bend. Let's go. Okay, that's it. There you go. Another shield done. See? How cool is that, guys? See, now we just have to do like another 60 of these. <laughs> okay. Do another 60 of these and then um, start installing them, you know? So, very easy to do if you've got the machines, of course. But um, when I can't bend something here, I even buy the sheet metal, cut the pieces that I want or mark everything and get it bended, you know. But fortunately, we can do it everything in-house and that's cool for video content. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to continue bending those ones and then we're going to cut some more pieces from this sheet metal, okay. And... Um, you want to cut it now? Yes, let's cut it. Okay, so first we cut the metal sheets. So I put the tape right there. Okay. Um, just put the sheet, push the sheet metal inside, and 140 right there because I want 140. Okay. Take the measuring tape out. Press here. Switch on the machine, it makes a lot of noise. And oh yeah, done. Now the next step will be bending these pieces. It sets. Okay. Now this one will have to be. Um, yeah, we can still cut another one for this one. Okay. Now let's make sure. Yes. Spot on. Spot on. 
Okay, go. And now this one stays 140 here. Now we do the measurements on the table. Yeah. 140, yeah. Hey, 140, okay. That's it. Cool. Okie dokie, so look everyone, we got them all done and that was not easy, um, it's manual bending so yes, after you do 10 and then 20 it just becomes worse. <laughs> so they're all done, we just left the last two because we have to see the measurement that they're going to have the last two and now we're going to go to the wall and um, see where we're going to drill the holes. Uh, check the level of the tubes so that we know what to do um, Let's get to it. Let's go Okie dokie everyone oh. Okay <laughs> Then have the focus in automatic so um, just um, machining the little supports for the gap of the pens so two, four, six, eight. Yes, I only have another seventy-two to go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, okay. So we have already drilled the holes. Okay, just on one, so that we can test it out. One hole, two holes. Okay. Spaces. We already got the spaces. Yeah, that we did. Okay, just machine them. And uh, this is to test it out. So now next step is buy screws because I don't have screws for this. I uh, already got bolts, anti-loosening bolts. And um, just need the screws and then install this one. Okay. And then after this one's in uh, on, the, um, on the wall, then we'll put the following ones because it has to be all straight, you know. Okay. So let's go. Okay, dark everyone. So I'm on the stairs here. It's waving about. Sorry. So, see how to build a shield fence. <laughs> Call it a shield because it looks like Roman shields, you know. So yes. So this was the purpose. Uh, unfortunately, I also had to do a lot of cement to straighten out the wall. So yes, to level it up because I had to put the fence leveled, you know. I couldn't like but all skiff or, or crooked so yes had to make cement as well already got all that filled up and now I just have to put this you see also fold up that part there um, this part I'm gonna leave for the end so I left it a bit rough so that it all grabs well um, and now I'm gonna put this last plate for today and tomorrow's another day, the good grace of the Lord. Tomorrow we will finish, I think. Not sure. <laughs> so, um, remember the screws. So, basically, just put the screws through here. Like that. This one is right here. At the bottom. Then I just put the plastic. Let me see if I can do this all with one hand, like always. If you don't have someone's form for you, just go to know how to do it. Okay, and now this goes in place just like that. Okie dokie. Let's 
see the hole. Okay. There you go. And uh, again, a good anti loosening nut. Okay. So it doesn't come loose. The time. Now on the top part. Now it's just. That's right, there. see, just like that. And like that, it doesn't um, squash the plates, you know. If there's a limit, for us, it should just bend the whole plate, you know. See if I can get this. Okay. And there you go, see. So, yes, those ones already um, have the hole already. I had to take them out to put the clamps for the wood. I should have got a more clamp so I could just do all the cement in one go, but unfortunately, so it is what it is. No problemo. And now we just tighten up the plates and that's it. Make sure that it's all straightened out here. Yep. Okay. Now I have to hold the, the other tool, another hand. <laughs> okay. I'll just Hold it like there. Let me just uh, get my other hand free. Wait, don't tighten. Okay. Can you push the plates upwards? Yes, okay. That's it. Go. And then, just tighten it up. Once he feels that he can't tighten it more, that means that the plastic white uh, washer, support washer, is um, tighter. Okay, now this one right here. And this is quite a lot of work because you gotta make drill a lot of holes. Bending the place was also a bit of a work, so it's all like you know, it's a lot of work. <laughs> but um you know, God gives us wisdom so that we can face our problems and our daily projects. And uh, that's why you can do anything as long as you apply yourself. Just have faith and push on, you know. He'll give you strength even though you feel weak. Or you can't take it anymore. Just keep on going. That's when you got to really fight for it. <laughs> but in the end, always have success and victory. With God's good grace, that's how it works. Okay, everyone. So, tomorrow, got to fold this wrist up. Because this has to become hard now. It's hard. It's, no, it's still not hard to the touch. And follow this rest up. That's one over there. And put all the other plates. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So yes, we still have um still haven't reached half the plates, you know. Two more and we're halfway. And then another 20. Excellent. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Okie doke everyone, how are you all doing today, this beautiful blessed day? So, as you've noticed, maybe on the previous video, I was like uh, a bit tired. Because uh, I'm trying to do stuff outside, but I'm in war with, um, with flies. So there's thousands of flies and I cannot do anything. Um, because I'm more worried of fighting the flies than doing the work and it's very stressful. So I had this from, I used to have beehives and used to uh, do honey, um, my own honey, here in the yard. And this was for the giant hornets uh, and flies, to keep, which was to keep them out of the beehives, and it worked perfectly. So I still have a, a bit of this, like almost half, because then I quit on the beehives. Um, and I'm going to use it now for these flies that are like, it's really crazy. I don't know why. A lot of neighbors, maybe they're building fertilizers. They've been doing this so works on the streets, you know, and stuff like that. It's messing with the, the sewage pipes and everything. So I think there's a lot related, which is normal, all acceptable. Those things have to be done. But we, I'm all about solutions, so we've got to get a solution for these flies. So... Uh, I'm just going to use the, what I used to do when I used to have the beehives is take a bottle See just cut a hole through it Put the point of another bottle into it Okay, and that's the entry 
No, no, they won't find the exits too easy. That's why I put it high above or in an angle, whatever you think is better. But I'm just going with this because I don't have time. <laughs> and um, if the smaller this is, the smaller the bottle you get to put it inside, the bits, okay? Um, so we have two big bottles. And now I've got another small bottle here, which this one is even better. See, it's even more narrow. Now I'm going to cut it through here uh, and put it inside that bottle right there. So you mix this with a bit of sugar water. You just put this much of this molasses. Sugar and water is the whole rest. Okay, we don't want to make it too full, so it's too heavy. I'll put it like there. Okay, because like that they don't, they aren't too close to the exits, you see. And uh, hang it on the trees and hopefully, uh, with God's good grace, I can keep on working. <laughs> because it is chaos. War with the flies. <laughs> I'm sorry flies, but you are killing me out there. Okay, so this is like a, a special molasses. Uh, it's got like a strong smell. It's not chemical, um, it attracts them. So it never attracts bees into the bottles. I've never had butterflies going in, other insects. It was just the wasps and the flies because they are the, the only crazy um, insects going around here. There's not even space for bees to pollinize our trees and plants. Um, they're attacking all the fruit, the flies. And um, yes, we need to get this solved. So this has only attracted in the past flies, wasps, um, also small wasps, the giant hornets, and what else did I get in here? Oh, all type of flies. So yeah, those are the scavengers for all this nastiness, you know. Bees are more occupied with the pollen on the fruit, sweet stuff, but this isn't sweet. Uh, we put sugar, a little bit of sugar, but uh, a lot of water, but it never tracked birds, bees or anything because it's got like a vinegar smell to it, see. Um, what else? Butterflies weren't interested because it's not like that fruit fermented smell, you know. So, but we will keep an eye. As soon as we see other insects that shouldn't be being catched, we stop, okay. Um, as soon as we see other insects inside the bottle that aren't supposed to be there, we stop, okay? We're going to keep a balance on this. Okie doke, and we'll just put like more vinegar just to make sure that other insects will not be attracted but flies and hornets, giant hornets, because they love rotten, stinky, nasty stuff. <laughs> so yes, let's do it. Okie dokie everyone, how you all doing? <laughs> Welcome to the Daily Life Project channel. Yes, I'm trying this direct to view, see if it helps out a bit. <laughs> you guys can see more of my face. <laughs> Just I need to get used to it. And um, yes, finally managed to finish the box over here. Now, this took uh, much longer than I thought it would. Um, this because I'm not used to doing this uh, cement revesting with cement, you know. Um, so it actually stayed quite nice for the first time that I ever did this. Um, little patch here, little patch there, nothing too important. These are just little patches that I can patch. I stayed a little hole here, very tiny, but I can't even almost see it, it's just the camera is very good <laughs> so you guys are going to see all the little defaults <laughs> but yeah not bad eh um, someone had already did this part at the back, that wasn't me so I just had to like put some mental around and straighten it up like you guys could see in the previous videos but yeah, stayed pretty pretty cool finally done um, Really got some st white stone for the to put the rest of the white stones over there on that side there. Um, yeah, just arrived today. I should have actually taped the truck doing this, but 
Well, I was like, um, you know, didn't even have a t-shirt on. I was all like, hey, I just showered <laughs> because it was uh, it was a rough day. It's been very very hot, and it's been crazy flies and hot and ice. So the fly trap actually did work. It's just attracted them more further away from me. So I managed to finish that box, but it did take a long time. Um, I need to get more experience. And uh, look what I got here, guys. A melon. Check that melon out. Crazy. <laughs> Amazing. So blessed. Everything's going well. Yes. Oh, I'm tired, but it's worth it. Um, the watermelon is still growing. So, yes, that's pretty cool. Got another one there. This is going to be full of melons because I can see that there's growing a lot of melons over here. I'm just to cut my hair. And yes, tomorrow I'm going to start filling this with the white stones. It's stay very nice. It's well in there. Got a bit some cement barrier there. We really got a little bit, but I need a bit more. So, more cement. <laughs> Getting more tired. And um, the rest is all good, eh? Everything is just flowing. So, feeling much better now. Just took a shower. And yes. Now that I look away, thank you Jesus for giving me the wisdom and the strength to do the box. I really didn't know what I was doing. I was like, how am I going to do this box? So I started, and then the cements wouldn't like grip. Then I had to change all the techniques of the cements with the thinner sand. But I don't know, it was so hot today, I would wet the old cement, dry too fast, and the cements wouldn't, you know. It was a crazy day. It took me too long. I think it's too long just to do something like that. So, anyways, it's done. Um, strawberries are growing, eh? Look at that. I'm getting brand new strawberry plants. And I've already got more, so I got this empty flask. And uh, I need to get, and I have another glass flask there on the table. So, I'm going to get another two strawberries tomorrow. And uh, yes, just keep on going. And the shield. Tomorrow, I'm going to. See if I can finish the shield fence. Ready, packed it up with cement all around. So we got the cement reinforcement, horizontal one, and uh, tomorrow I can take all those planks out and finishing um, building all the the shields. So, um, need to fill this a bit more. Found another stone there. Okay, doke everyone. So let's finish this fence. Let's go. See, all the cement is dried already. Just have to patch that hole there, okay? Because I had their support for some steel. Then I also have to detach this aluminium from here and fill up in that hole. Because I'm going to make a cement column with the tube welded on the on these two tubes, you know, to give it extra support. Going right down there with cement. So yes. First we'll boot the the shield um, fence. And then we'll put the rest. Okay, yeah. let's go. Whew, and that's it, guys. Finally finished. Now I need to get my hands washed. I need another shower. <laughs> Got to shower like two times every day. Uh, thank God it's not that hot today. It's like a very nice breeze, and these like clouds are coming from in the sea that's cool that's it guys look at this that's how you build a fence proper hard steel and now i got to make a column a vertical column so that i can weld on these tubes and give it a middle support it is quite hard but not hard enough for me it has to be like really you know well structured and well supported or us i just don't like it and when I'm doing this cement, then I can patch up this fault over here and over here as well. And on the outside. So yes, look at that. That's how you build a shield fence. What I call the shield fence. It's not a shield fence. I call it. <laughs> okay. I gave an angle on this one. A higher angle. Just so that you don't see this from the outside. But that's pretty cool. A lot of work, eh? A lot of work. I imagine I had to do 
more meters than this and I think I'm good it's a good thing it was just this that we needed <laughs> okay this is a cool project I'm going to now film from the outside see how it stayed look it out everyone look at that yes fantastic that looks good eh got some hand marks of course but now it's going to all be painted don't forget see there I got to patch up that this is from the boards the union of the boards because I had to have some stones now and then to support the steel frame from collapsing you know with the weight because it took much more cement than I was initially supposed to use but yeah looks um, looks pretty good Check that out. Look at these freaking flies. And thank God we don't have a lot of these. These ones hurt. But uh, the traps are working. And it's only getting flies, so that's a good thing. Check it out, everyone. See, this one stayed with an angle. Stayed much better. So now I've got to paint the whole thing. Also in the front of the house, so all around, you know. Right to the headquarters, everything. But I'm going to get someone to paint because I have to deal with other projects. And uh, I can't film painting. I don't think you guys would like filming the painting part, you know. So, yeah. Pretty good. If you ask the Lord for strength and wisdom, He provides. That's it. Yeah, the class could have came earlier. But anyways, <laughs> at least I got a suntan. <laughs> Okay, let's go.